in you that the word of God will find a hope in each and every one of us. We are reading Matthew's Gospel chapter 6 from verse number 9 to 12. This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven May your holy name be honored. May your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today the food we need. Forgive us the wrongs we have done as we forgive the wrongs that others have done to us. The Gospel of the Lord. Let me add also that after the Gospel text when a priest kisses the Gospel he does a prayer that through the proclamation of the gospel may our sins be forgiven. Remember Jesus telling Peter that by my word that you listen to, you are cleansed. So when we listen to God's word, we are cleansed. Those who listen in faith and take to heart. Every time a priest proclaims the gospel and he prays in his heart over the people that by the proclamation of the gospel may our sins be forgiven. If the bishop is in the mass, the book of the gospel is handed to him. Prayer, he uses the book of the gospel to bless God's people. Children of the living God, where we have read is a portion that we are all conversant with. <coughs> Even the little children who are in the nursery primary are conversant with this word of scripture. Because I want to believe for those who are in Christian schools, they are taught the prayer of our Father. 
Today I like to title this word of God today offered to us as our Father. The title of our sermon of the message this evening is our Father. And I want us to bring our minds to our activities in our homes. And most of us would have had the experience if we did not do it directly to our parents, maybe we did to those who were keeping watch over us. Or we have had this experience through our own children. How often do children go to their parents and report to them that they have been sent out of school because of school fees? Or there is a lady that is placed on them from the school management that on the morrow when they are going to school, the parents should make available the money. And they will come so very confidently and we tell their parents, maybe the father or the mother, daddy, if he is the father, the school management says we should bring 5,000 naira when we are going to school the next day. Once he gives that message, he believes that his father is going to make provision. He goes and he begins to eat if there is food provided for him. If a child is hungry, he goes to the father and he tells the father, Daddy, I'm hungry. And the child believes that very soon food will be made available. If anybody offends the child, he goes to the father and he says, Daddy, he offends me. Even obviously, if he's somebody who is even mightier than the father, the child reports to the father and he believes that his father can conquer the other person who seems to offend him. Children have so much faith in their parents. Whatsoever they report to their fathers, they believe in the deepest part of their hearts that their parents will do it. However, that faith may be false. Because at times an earthly father will have no money in his pocket. But the child as he reports, he believes that his father is going to do that which he makes demand of him. At times the person, the child is reporting to the father to go to conquer. If the father dares, that person will be the hell out of the father. But it's a lie. For a little child, nobody is as powerful as his father. And when they say it, they mean it. Children of the living God, it is because of what our children do in the home. To us who are grown ups, our, who are parents, that Jesus said, let our faith unto our God be like the faith of little children as they express in making demands to their parents. But let me ask, sincerely, children of God, how many of us, when we are praying the prayer of our Father, we believe in our hearts that we are addressing Him, who is the King of heaven and earth, He to whom nothing is impossible. And as I am making demand to my Father in heaven, I have that faith as a child has faith in his father when he's making a demand. That as I am calling upon my God, he's going to answer me. How many of us, many a times, we pray the prayers of our father. 
we call our father with our lips but we do not believe in his power we pray the prayers of our father we pray our father who is in heaven but we do not believe in his power we do not believe in his power but listen to me child of the living god in case you do not do you are a son you are a daughter of a god he who is king of heaven and earth and if you are a son if you are a daughter of god who is king of heaven and earth you are a princess you are a prince as i want on telling the funeral proceedings of queen elizabeth i said to myself that myself i am a prince of god you are a prince of god by virtue of your baptism by virtue of your faith in god who is your father he who is king of heaven and earth you are a prince you are an heir child of the living god to god's own kingdom your own kingdom is not a kingdom that is built by humans it's not a kingdom that will pass away your own kingdom child of the living god is a kingdom that is built by god there child of the living god the glory of the lord shines that is the kingdom that you are going to inherit that is the kingdom that your father he who is a king has prepared for you and as i watch the military bore the casket of the queen i was saying to myself oh my god on the day of my burial it is angels that will bear me and they will hand me unto the kingdom of god when child of the living god you come to a christian funeral at the end the priest declares let the angels of god welcome you if you had watched that funeral the glory was so much but the glory of a child of god if you see what happens in spirit is more than that glory that was manifest at the funeral of the queen elizabeth on that day angels of god will bear you by their hands and they will hand you on to god's kingdom in heaven that is the kingdom that awaits you that is the kingdom that awaits you you are a prince you are a princess in god child of the living god i repeat to you you are a queen of heaven mother mary you are a king with our lord jesus in the kingdom of god that kingdom prepared for you is not built by human hands the god that you invoke every day in prayer is the god of heaven and earth heaven is his own kingdom there is nothing that this god cannot do do you believe in his power do you believe in what he can do many a times we do not believe god on account of his word many a times we do not believe god in what god can do many a times we minimize children of the living god the authority of god But I want to report to you that you serve a God, you are a daughter, you are a son of God, he who divides the Red Sea. Something that king Charles cannot do. Something that no earthly king can do. Your God, who you are a son to, your God, who you are a daughter to, is a God that divides the Red Sea. He is a God that walks on the waters. He is a God that calls water from the rock. I am not creating a fiction. I am talking facts here. It's what your God can do. However you do not believe in him. However you do not believe in his power. Child 
of the living God when you invoke that name. My father, do you believe in me? Do you believe that as you call upon him, he's going to answer you? Child of the living God, we serve a God that is attentive to the call of his people. But only those who call unto him in faith, only those who call unto him in faith, his word says in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse number 6, that without faith we cannot please him. But those who come unto their God in faith, he rewards their faith. Child of the living God, I stand. To you, I report that our God is a God that answers prayer. Let the brother is we come to him and we do not have faith in our hearts. We call on him, child of the living God, and we do not believe in his power. When a child goes to the father and he says, I have been sent out of school for school fees, he says, Tomorrow I'm going there and I want my school fees to be paid. He goes and he sleeps very calmly without any doubt in his heart that his father is going to be provision. That father may be limited, but your God is not limited. That father may be limited, but your father is not limited. He's a God has, he has unlimited power. He's a God, child of the living God, that creates out of nothing. Child of the living God, I want you to imagine it. He creates out of nothing. He called order out of chaos. That is the God that is your father. That is the God that you address as your father. When you call upon him, do you believe? When you call upon him, do you believe? When you call upon him, do you believe? When you kneel and you call, my father, my father, I know you are God and you can do even the impossible. This is the situation your son is in. Father Lord God, I believe that you will do it. You are not that God that calling water from the rock. You are not that God that works on the waters. You are not that God that divides the red sea. And your son is in this situation. Come to my Aid. And as you believe, God is doing a miracle. When you call on Him, do you believe? When you call on Him, do you believe? When Jesus was at the critical moment of His life, when He lay on the cross, the pain of the nurse in His hands, the pain of the nurse on His leg, He cried, out, "Father." Father, Father, he used his last strength. Why have you forsaken me? Then? And God, the Father, must have laughed. He said, Lie, I can never forsake you. Wait until the third day, and I will manifest my glory in your life. The first day had passed, the second day had passed, and on the third day, we are told that the angel rolled the stone away, and Jesus manifested with glory. Oh, from the dead, nothing of such had ever been happened in history. And he was raised unto glory. When you call upon him and he seems to be silent, in the silence of God, there is an answer. Is somebody hearing me? I say to you, Miss Catherine, that in the silence of God, there is an answer. In the silence of your God, in the silence of your Father, there is an answer. He will surely come to your aid. He will surely come to your aid. Even when Jesus called and the Father did not turn that from heaven, he believed that he was going to answer. And on the third day, the Father answered. He will answer you in the name of Jesus. I say he will answer you in the name of Jesus. He will answer you in the name of Jesus. I want to report to you that you serve a father that is very zealous about his children. I say you are a princess. I say you are a prince. Your father, the king of heaven and earth, is zealous about you. I read the word of God in the book of Luke's gospel, chapter 7, verse number 11, down to 16. And I marvel at what our God can do. We are told that death overpowered the widow. That widow must have sat in her house looking upon her only son. And death came 
Look the window in the eyes and say that because I am more powerful than you, I will take away this only joy of yours and I will rejoice that you are money. And death overpowered that woman and snatched her only son away from her. If that woman had power and strength to confront death, then death wouldn't have snatched her to her son. But because she was helpless, death took away his son and we are told that the son was being taken out of the city gate for burial and there appeared our God and there appeared Jesus and we are told that Jesus said stop I am the father of this widow you have overpowered her but me I will conquer you death I have conquered you. And we are told that Jesus in a spiritual realm fought death in the name of Jesus. I say he fought death. I will conquer death. And he called that dead child. Arise, you man. And that man arose. He came back to life and he gave to the woman. He said, take that which has overpowered you have overpowered it, and I am giving to you what that has stolen from you. Child of the living God, that is the God that you serve. That is the God that you serve. Whatsoever that overpowers you and steals from you, your father will not allow it to take. That put you away in the name of Jesus. He will fight and he will give him back to you. As long as you call upon him in faith. As long as you call upon him in faith. I see that your father is a king. You are a princess. You are a prince. And he's zealous over you. Today, child of the living God. Whosoever has stolen from you. Whosoever has taken from you. Because the person thinks he's more powerful than you. God, your father, we overpower that person and he will bring back what the person has stolen from you in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus children of the living God our father is in heaven your father is in heaven I say your father is in heaven and he's so zealous about you he's so zealous about you I read about the royalty and when the prince Harry said I am going to leave the house I am going to forsake royalty I am going away with my wife heaven oh the queen mother Queen Elizabeth was so very troubled. She was looking ahead to that day. Oh, her grandson Harry will come back home. Child of the living God, your father in heaven is more zealous about you than the Queen Elizabeth was zealous over him. The Prince Harry, the name of Jesus. Have you left your kingdom and you are wandering in sin as we are? Are you hearing this word of God? And you have abandoned your God. You are wandering far away in sin. You are wandering far away in sin. God is zealous of you. God is calling you come back home. He's calling you come back to the kingdom. You do not belong to a distant country. You belong to my kingdom. Come. Why? Why would you, a son, a daughter of a king, be feeling on scraps out there? Come back home to the kingdom. Remember the story of the prodigal son. And he made a quality decision. He said, I will arise and go back to my father. And he arose and he went. And the father received him back. Child of the living God, you may be living in sin right now. But I am telling you, you are a prince. You are a princess. You do not belong to the kingdom of the enemy. The kingdom you belong to is the kingdom of your father, God. In heaven, that is your kingdom. Arise, daughter of Zion. Arise, son of the living God. And come back to the kingdom where you belong. Arise and come back to the kingdom you belong. So that on that day, child of the living God, at your death, not human soldiers will bear you, but the angels of God will bear your spirit and they will present it unto the Lord. In the funeral prayer in the Catholic Church, we repeat, let the angels oh, welcome you and present you unto the Lord. Listen to me, 
again. If you have won that funeral of Queen Elizabeth, the glamour on the day of a barrier of a true child of God. The glory in the spirit is more than the glory you would have watched. In the name of Jesus, I pray over you, child of the living God. I pray over my life today that when I call upon my God, I will call in faith. When you call upon your Father in heaven, you will call in faith. Child of the living God, your God is more than able to provide everything. He is more than able to provide everything. I refer you to the word of God in the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse number 19. That God, He will supply all my needs according to his glory in heaven. Child of the living God because you have not been calling upon him in faith because you have not been calling upon him and believing that he's past power that's why you are still at that level. My brother, child of the living God, my brother, this one I call upon you my daughter I call upon you my son I call upon you God is saying that I am most powerful. I can do it for you God will do it for you. Your father can do it for you. I say he can do it for you. Call on him in faith. Call on him and believe that he will do it. No wonder. Mark's Gospel chapter 11. That's number 24 and 25. When you pray and you believe, you will receive. That is his word. When you pray and you do what? You believe you will receive. When you call upon our Father, when you call upon your Father and you believe, you will do what? You will receive. When somebody today call upon his Father, he will be King of heaven and earth. When somebody today call upon his Father, he will be King of heaven and earth. Oh, for him, he's going to supply. Call, he's going to supply. Call, he's going to answer. I say call, he's going to answer. And as we pray to our Father in heaven, he who owns the world, he who owns everything that we need, as we call upon him in faith, let him provide, let him answer and bless us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Somebody shout a triple amen to this message. Jesus three times as you stand on your feet, child of the living God. Jesus! 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 Child of the living God, wherever you are, I want us to pray now the prayer of Lord Jesus Thomas, the prayer of our Father, when you call, call with faith. Anytime he has a kingdom, and that kingdom, you will reign over that kingdom. You will reign in that kingdom. Someday, when you are living this world, the angels of God will bear you in their hands. And they will present you unto the kingdom of God. The kingdom of your father, you will reign in that kingdom. Child of the living God, anytime you call, my father, anytime you call our father in prayer, remember you are calling as a princess. You are calling us a priest, child of the living God. Wherever you are, wherever you are, I want you to pray this prayer of our Father and pray with faith. Pray very loud. Pray with faith. Let us, children of the living God, pray the prayer our Lord Jesus taught us. One, two, three, go. Ah. Uh,
God is going to touch you. He's going to visit you. You have called on your Father. He is going to respond with the power of His Spirit. Amaji Poluchi. Mwana Sevi. Kwangu Eren Kuma Wu. Honu Tegu Tini De Great Yard Jigina. Wherever you are, be still at this moment and know that God is God. Something is going to happen in your life. Your sickness will go. I say that demon that associates itself with your life will leave. Be silent at this moment. The power of God's spirit is coming. We are in the upper room. The power of God's spirit will come. You have been struggling with that which you know for a very long time. Without success. But the power of God's spirit is doing it for you today. You have been taking medication for a very long time. Over that sickness. Unabated. But today, because you are here, the healer is going to heal you. Baba, Utsele yo chi o menachi, Pagudamu lu wegabla, Mwani, Be silent, God is going to do it. A miracle is going to take place. In the life of a pregnant woman, In your life, I say the power of God, the power of our Father. Father has a kingdom, you are a prince, you are a princess. You are a child of God, the devil has no power over you. The devil, you have no power over the life of that heir to God's own kingdom. Wherever you are, we are praying with you. God's spirit is taking over. I said something is going to happen. I said something is going to happen. Something is going to take oh, over your life. The power of God's spirit is going to do something remarkable in your life. Be silent, child of the living God. Be silent, child of the living God. God is going to do something in your life. I said something remarkable. Sickness is going to go. It's going. I said the power that has associated with you for a very long time is living your life by fire, by blood, by the spirit of God's anointing. He that breaks the yoke, he that takes over every power. Oh, that holds us captive and is set us free. Freedom is going to be experienced in your life. You will feel the joy that you have never felt before. Child of the living God, God is going to set you free. I say you are going to be set free. Freedom will come upon your life. Wherever you are, say be silent. Wherever you are, say be silent. God is doing it. Apology will come on the table here in When the people of God get to that day to go in their lives. Oh, when the enemy, the rest here, was right before them. And they thought that they have come to the end of their life. And Moses ministered unto them. As God had told him, be silent and see the power of the Lord. The enemies you see today, oh, you shall see them no more. God is telling you, oh, to be silent and to see what you will do in your life. That sickness that has disturbed you for a very long time, that sickness will be no more. I said that power. Oh, that has disturbed you for a long time. It will leave your body. I praise the Lord. Oh, Father, in heaven, in the power of God's spirit, come upon the church, come upon God's children, let the power of the Lord take over your life, take over your life, take over your life, take over your life, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, by the power, the spirit of God, we saturate, we shall the life of your spirit, in the name of Jesus, wherever you are, wherever you are, God is coming, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, and it came like the rush of wind, all the peace of the Lord. It's touching you right now. It's touching you right now. It's smashing out every spirit. And the body of spirit. And the body of spirit. And the body of spirit. Every weakness in the body. Every weakness in the body. I know that we will be a great shadow. I know that we will be a great shadow. And remember just by the Lord. Father, Lord, I don't know. By the power of the name of the Lord. By fire, by blood. Take 
Yes, so Christ, today we was saying, Young, I'm my 